uh, two-parter. Just what was it like having Ty Hennis back at practice? And I believe you played with him at Boston College your freshman year. Just what are your memories of that? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's good to have him back. He's just, he just brings so much energy. and You know, his, uh, his warm-up games and stuff like that, they're really fun. They're effective, too. It's, it's, uh, I mean, he's just... He's a great guy. I mean, yeah, like you said, I've known him since uh, 2003, my freshman year, his senior year. He was, uh, you know, seeing a guy back then, he was such a hard worker. He was a, uh, you know, a really good player, but the way he kind of conducted himself was a great type of uh, leadership for us coming in, the younger guys, and showed us how to almost be professional, you know, at that college level. Come out of high school, he was a huge asset for us. And, uh, you know, the way he goes about his day and his business now is the same, right? He's an extremely hard worker and a really positive guy. Um, it's awesome having him back. Okay. What's your usual workout routine during the holiday break, and will it be any different this year with the extra day? Yeah, usually it's more, uh, it's a little bit shorter and a little more travel involved and less time at home. This is a little bit more time at home, but there's always some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of training that goes on as you get older. It's, you got to stay active every day. Um, I, I found that, you know, the more active you can stay each day, you know, time off and rest is good, but there's a, there's a smart way to do it. And, um, you know, our guys in there, Alex and Lexi, they're, they're really good at not only they're smart about how we do things, but each individual guy is different. And they, uh, <laughs> Gets off. <laughs> they, you know, they're good with, with different kind of guys. Every athlete's a little bit different, different, you know, built differently, you know, different ages, and they've been pretty good with it. So we have a plan going in. Uh, even this morning, he already had it ready for us, which is pretty good with all the change that's kind of gone on in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Brian, what do you think about the league's decision to start the break early, and what's your confidence level that? that game up in Boston on the 27th, you guys are going to be playing. You know, the last two years, you just kind of, you prepare for what you can. So the schedule says what it says now, it is what it is now, and so we prepare accordingly, I think, you know. Uh, that's kind of the approach with the decisions and how they're made, and uh, I just leave that up to the people that make them. We try to prepare with, with all the information that we have. Um, we'll prepare like we're playing Boston. 27. Um, you know, that's really it. That's all we really can do at this point. You know, it's it's sort of a stay ready. Going back to the first pause way back, uh, you know, two seasons ago, you just tried to keep yourself in good shape, uh, keep yourself sane, do whatever you can. You guys got pretty creative, but you know, you just as far as you know, different guys' personal feelings on it doesn't doesn't really matter. It just kind of is right now what it is. Kind of expect the unexpected, I guess, at this point. Yeah. Uh, Brian, it seemed like today's practice was fairly lighthearted, uh, it, it just especially in light of what's going on in the last seven, eight, nine days here. Just what was today like? Just being able to kind of let loose a little bit, I guess. Yeah, you know, um, it's still fun, right? It's still uh, competitive, right? You saw the the different end results and the different games that we played. We split up into different teams and. You know, we like to compete, no one really wants to lose. So um, things like that are a lot of fun. They're, uh, it's a great way to kind of get something out of the day when it's been such a kind of crazy schedule change and things are different. Um, got some work in and made it a productive day. But again, hockey's always fun. It's supposed to be fun. We went out there and today was uh, a little more fun than most practices are. Uh, Brian, with, with missing last season, I wonder if you've had a moment or plan to take a moment to, to reflect on what it is or what it means to get another chance to be back in the league. Yeah, I mean, every day, even from camp on, it's just, uh, you know, it's such a privilege and to, to be able to have a chance to play in this league. Um, to be able to do it in, in an organization like this, on a team like this, with players like this, these, these guys are... You know they're they're champions anyway. You know they have they've they've, uh, they've won, they've accomplished a great amount uh, in their careers, and, and you know we're playing well now as a group. So just to be a part of it, um, you know I I want to have that.
that chance as well. So that, that's something that you know I certainly don't don't take for granted. Um, you know the injuries. If you get, you know, I've, I've missed a little bit of time with some injuries, which is really really disappointing. But I mean, just because I know what it's like and how you know hard it is to stay and play in this league. And, uh, you know, every day is not really a time where I've gotten too comfortable and thought like, you know, this, you know, this is just, you know, every day, normal day for me, whatever. Like these are all, you know, it's a privilege. It really is. It's a blessing, and I'm, I'm, I'm just thrilled. I mean, it's not easy because my, you know, my family's not here, but I mean, that's, that's how important it is, and that's how great of an opportunity it is. Because you know, I normally wouldn't. Wouldn't, we wouldn't decide to do that if it wasn't so important. So that's kind of, uh, I guess that's probably the best way to describe it. That's how much it means to me.